when you owned your network, you owned every switch and router, you could go and, and hug it. And if something went wrong, you could pull up a CLI command to be able to understand, do a Wireshark trace to be able to see what's really happening across that network on the device. You know, last I checked, you can't uh, go to your ISP and say, hey, can you give me a tap to your network? So if you can't do those approaches, you have to fundamentally rethink how you provide troubleshooting. How do you get that visibility? How do you move from a kind of a find and fix approach to a gather the evidence and escalate it and to be able to provide that different approach to understanding what is happening across those digital experiences that you rely upon. Hey everyone, David Bumble coming to you from Cisco Live. I'm here with Joe from Thousand Eyes. Joe, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. Joe, tell us a story because I don't know a lot of the history. I believe it's a really cool history. Like why was Thousand Eyes invented? Tell us the story because you were pre-acquisition. Why was it started? What happened and where we are today? So I'm Joe and I lead our product team here at Thousand Eyes. I've been with the company a little bit over four years now. You know, our two co-founders, Mohid and Ricardo, were doing their PhDs at UCLA, really just trying to understand the the internet. And they had a kind of a, a belief that the internet was going to fundamentally change how networks were designed. And in many ways, right, there's four you know key trends that we've always seen inside Thousand Eyes from the very beginning that continue to accelerate. You know, cloud has really become the new data center where applications are hosted. It. The internet's becoming the new network for how networks are designed. SaaS has really become the new application stack for how business gets done. And in many ways, in the last couple of years, home has become the new office. And what's common across all of those is that you rely upon them to run your business, to provide services to your customers or to employees, but you don't own them. And if you don't own them, you can't take the fundamental approach to visibility. And so from the very beginning, back 10 years ago, even through today, those core tenants have held true that as customers have needed to understand digital experience, through the eyes of their customers or their employees, more and more of that digital experience is outside the four walls of their data center, their office, their networks. And so they need to have a, a different approach to getting the visibility into it. So boomers like me, remember the old days, you know, everything was in a data center, everything was on the local network that we controlled. And I, I believe the story is you or the, the founders, Thousand Eyes, had this, saw this problem with, you know, in the old days, everything was local, but now it's on the internet and you can't control it. Is that right? Yeah. So if you think about um, when you owned your network, you owned every switch and router, you could go and, and hug it. And if something went wrong, you could pull up a CLI command, you could look at a PCAP yeah. to be able to understand, do a Wireshark trace to be able to see what's really happening across that network on the device. What are the different interface statistics? You know, last I checked, you can't uh, go to your ISP and say, hey, can you give me a tap into your, uh, to your network? You can't go to Amazon and say, hey, can I get a PCAP across your infrastructure. So if you can't do those approaches, you have to fundamentally rethink how you provide troubleshooting. How do you get that visibility? How do you move from a kind of a find and fix approach to a gather the evidence and escalate it and to be able to provide that different approach to understanding what is happening across those digital experiences that you rely upon. How do you get that visibility? I mean, if it's local, I can just install software, I can run a Wireshark capture, but how do you actually see what's going on in the yeah, cloud? Yeah, so as you, you know, in the past, right, you would take like potentially leveraging NetFlow or other statistics. What Thousand Eyes takes is an active monitoring approach. And so we have uh, vantage points that are available either throughout the internet in hundreds of different, so really thousands of different locations around the world. So you, you've got software installed somewhere, is that right? Yeah, so we have Thousand Eyes managed points of presence in about a thousand different locations around the internet in strategically placed. You can also run these vantage points, these agents inside of your network, whether that's inside of a, a Cisco you know, switcher router or in a different form factors, or you can run it actually on your device from your, your endpoint, your laptop. And that gives a vantage point that you can then gain the visibility out through. And, and generally, we provide an active monitoring approach. So that really contrasts with, say, a passive or, or flow-based approach. This is taking an active synthetics approach to be able to get that visibility into it. And as we look at that, painting that picture, you can kind of think of Thousand Eyes as the Google Maps of the internet. What that means, you know, if I think about that analogy, when I pull up Google Maps, I type in a destination and Google automatically maps the entire path from where I am to where I'm going. And it actually also knows where the different disruptions along that path, right? It can be able to tell me, hey, instead of turning left here to go to your destination, there's an accident. So we're going to actually reroute you and believe that the best path to that destination is going to go down a different road. You can think of the internet in the same way, right? The internet is not a, a static entity. It's an ever-changing network and networks. And you need to be able to have that approach that says, okay, I don't know all the different disruptions that are going to be in front of me. And Thousand Eyes, through our technology, has the ability to paint that that full path from where you are or where you want to understand the visibility through all the way to that destination. So the demos I've seen, what I really like is that the interface looks very intuitive. 
which is um, not like some of the products I wouldn't mention by name of the past. A lot of the management products were very difficult to use, didn't give you a lot of visibility, but it sounds like, well, from what I've seen, it's yep. very easy to use, gives you a lot of visibility very easily. You want to take a look? Yeah, we should okay, have a look. Okay, great. All right. So, you know, when we think about Thousand Eyes, right, is that Google Maps of the internet, and we're testing and providing visibility from thousands of different locations. And then when you combine that with the thousands of customers we have, we also have the ability to really understand the real-time health of the internet because we're traversing the internet from our synthetic test from different vantage points. So you're setting probes, right? Yeah. So we have uh, the agents that are probing the internet and taking different inference techniques to be able yeah. to build that full path visualization. And what that then allows us to do to begin to start one from a macro perspective is really this kind of real-time health of the internet. So this is a thousand eyes internet insights. It takes all of our synthetic data in an aggregate uh, collective data set that we can then use to infer outages that are happening across the internet in a real-time basis. And so what you're seeing here on the screen is currently what is happening from an outage basis across either application That's providers. Yep. Um, and so you can see different providers that are potentially you know having a bad morning here in Amsterdam. You know, if you look back at you know a great example two weeks ago, Microsoft had a, a major outage. And it's not that Microsoft had an outage, outages happen. But from an enterprise perspective, what they need is the ability to, to know what is happening. Is this something that is in their control? And as their employees are complaining about the key applications or the Wi-Fi is down, or many times it's like, hey, Outlook sucks. Yeah. But is Outlook you know, having uh, problems because of Wi-Fi? Is it their local device? Is it the local internet? Is it my SD-WAN? Is it the infrastructure that Outlook is running on? Where along that digital supply chain is, is really happening? And so what we're looking at here from a Thousand Eyes perspective is Internet Insights. And what this allows me to do is actually, if I, if I drill down into uh, here, and I'm going to actually go back to that, that outage that occurred uh, here with, with Microsoft. So if I just type in, I'm just going to search for Microsoft's uh, core network. So what Thousand Eyes detected across our, our network is that we, obviously this was a global outage that occurred and affected not just Azure, but then had downstream effects on all the core, say Microsoft applications, SharePoint, OneDrive, and otherwise. And what we can see here from an application point of view, on the left is where we saw traffic uh, generating from, so from different locations, and then ultimately affecting different applications in the case of, say, Microsoft Office or uh, Microsoft Online with, with SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, and, and other destinations. And as I as I look at that and say, okay, well, how did we get that data, right? That actually comes from, say, our, our core synthetic or active monitoring approaches. And so this is an example here, if I switch to a, another example and say, well, how does that collective data set run? This is an example from a, a customer at Thousand Eyes was a, a betting company in the United Kingdom that was making a transition actually from their on-premises data center into a public cloud infrastructure, you know, trying to potentially optimize their infrastructure to be able to say improve their, their latency. And as we look at this particular example, what you can see is that the latency was very consistent, you know, around 15 milliseconds all the way. Now all of a sudden you can see in this in this time series view that latency begin becomes to become variable. Right? And that's obviously not something that is going to be conducive to a, a betting business. Now, why did that happen? This is what many Thousand X customers really struggle with. It's like the why. You know, my application team is saying everything's good. My network team is saying everything looks green on my side. They're all blaming each other. They're all blaming each other, right? And, and you know, just like my t-shirt says, generally everyone says it's going to blame the network. And so you just say, well, where where is that problem? So as we think about this environment, you can think of Thousand Eyes also as that analogy of a DVR, being able to go back in time and forward and say, well, what changed within the conditions that potentially led to the problem? So you can be able to detect, to diagnose, and then ultimately focus on resolving that issue. So in this situation, if you look at this um, on the right side, the destination that we're testing to, in this case, just this particular URL, you can see that this URL was hosted in Williams Hill's uh, data center. You can see their uh, network that they're connected to. You can see that we are testing, in this case, a number of different locations. These are thousandized cloud, what we call cloud agents, or thousandized managed points of presence here. And you can see we mapped from this path visualization, there's no instrumentation needed between the source and the destination. But from that inference, we're building the path from all of the different hops um, along the way, detecting if there's any, any forwarding loss uh, or latency between those different links. And you can see the location. Now, so just, just to, to emphasize, no probes are running on the ISP. Correct. Okay. Yeah, that would be a, a very difficult challenge. Yeah, exactly. Um, 
And people say, well, how are you getting that data? And many times when we talk to, to customers, when they share this type of view with their providers, this is going to provide a better view through that provider's network than they have themselves. And that's a, a really important differentiation that Thousand Eyes provides, really empowering those IT operations teams with this new type of visibility. Now, as you can see from in Maidenhead in the UK, as I traverse to uh, this data center, everything looks good. Now, let's go ahead in time and say, well, when the latency increased, what changed in my environment? I'm still testing for Maidenhead. Now you can see that my destination is located here in Amazon. And so they've made that migration and shifted their application into AWS. What you can see is that that, that synthetic test picked up the same hops along the way. But I'm going to kind of hover over one hop here and see something changed. And here you can actually see that now this test traffic is traversing back through the United States. So it's hairpinning through the Atlantic Ocean and then coming back into that network, increasing that latency. Why is this powerful? In the past, you know, you see, route. yeah, if you think about, you know, trace route giving you, you know, potentially a view, but potentially a very difficult way to troubleshoot the network. It's a nightmare. This giving you that deep visualization, giving the ability to act as a time machine to go back in time, and then to quickly highlight and says, this is what changed. This is where that problem is. You can take what used to potentially be hours or days trying to troubleshoot, identify the problem, down to minutes that create that actionable way then actionable intelligence for those IT operations teams to be able to, uh, to fix those different type of disruptions. How often is it probing? Or does that, is that configurable? That's configurable. So there, you know, there's different types of, of ways you potentially want to test your network, both different types of tests, potentially ones that are probing at the kind of a layer seven perspective and looking at page load response time, all the way down to looking at you know, BGP monitoring. But what's key here is that, and if I kind of switch to um, one of those different examples is that Thousand Eyes actually looks at all the different layers and correlates from that layer seven all the way down to that layer two. What might kind of expose itself as a increase in page load response time might actually be to a misconfiguration on a BGP route that is potentially black holing traffic or um, providing, say, a, a, an unoptimized route back to that destination. The problem with Traceroute is ISPs block it. So what kind of traffic are those probes using? Yeah, so we're doing a combination of, of both ICMP and TCP-based uh, protocols or UDP as well. And then we build a set of inference and enrichment to provide that level of visualization that would be you know, uh, something that you wouldn't see in a traditional, say, Traceroute style uh, approach. So, you know, one other, you know, just to kind of kind of maybe finish this, uh, this demo to look at here. Great. So, you know, maybe this last example. So we talked about how with Thousand Eyes, you can be able to bring this new type of visibility that you've never had before. You can be able to solve problems across your SUN, looking at how you correlate between your overlay and underlay, and then how do you be able to trace an issue from a page load response time all the way down to a BGP. What Cisco's also been working on is how do we um, operate in more of a predictive model? How do we not only fix an issue quickly when it happens, but how do we begin to forecast issues that are going to occur in the future and be able to uh, resolve those type of uh, problems? So at Cisco Live in, in June, we began to actually announce a kind of a new initiative, what we call the predictive networking vision. And with Thousand Eyes introducing what we call WAN Insights, what we have the opportunity to do is ingest a tremendous amount of telemetry coming off of your Cisco SD-WAN device, as well as application experience metrics from the likes of Office 365 and others. And then based upon that data and telemetry combined with the thousand is intelligence, we can build a set of forecasting models that on a site and application pair, we can be able to say, you know what, we are seeing a systemic issues in this type of, this combination, and we recommend to resolve or to mitigate the problems in the future, you change the actual policy for how that SD-WAN uh, network is being routed. So for, say, Site A, for your Office 365 traffic, instead of uh, traversing across your MPLS and business internet, we can see that the actual, to improve the digital experience, you want to just use business internet. So what you can see here in this view is that for Office 365, for this particular site, you can see is that the default a path right now is being load balanced between business internet and MPLS. And from a overall quality of experience, based upon the SLA, we're seeing that it's actually uh, degraded versus what the recommended uh, configuration, in this case, moving from business internet and MPLS to just the bronze uh, color in MPLS. And by doing so, you can actually see that we could uh, significantly improve the experience for those users. And so this provides an opportunity for that 
operations teams to actually kind of move into a proactive and preventative model to be able to modify, in this case, their SD-WAN policies to avoid those disruptions before they impact their users. Is it AI or is it just some clever... So it's math? leveraging you know, a number of different mathematical techniques, both statistical heuristics and, and, and otherwise to be able to provide that level of forecasting and recommendations. At the end of the day, I think what we want to focus on from Dallas and I's is, is solving problems for our customers. The technology approaches for how we do that, I think at the end of the day, what customers want is, is an outcome. And this provides a clear outcome for them to be able to say, I can use this as a, as a weapon to be able to ensure that I'm not even going to get those calls and those problems from my users complaining about my network performance. So I know you can't like give us dates or whatever, but can you give us sort of a vision of where we're going? Yeah, so you know, when I think about uh, this approach, there's a tremendous opportunity to leverage this vast data set that Thousand Eyes has collected to not only understand you know, further the real-time health of the internet, but also how we can begin to kind of further optimize your network path. Not only across your SD-WAN, but when we look at, say, the, the hybrid work uh, scenario, that's a very complex connectivity between the user and the application. And there are many times um, it's even further uh, made difficult for IT because more and more of these devices are outside of their control. But uh, their employees are also having a even higher degree of expectation of what is a great experience for that employee. And so with Thousand Eyes, we can be able to provide you know, end user self-service capabilities. We can be able to inform the user of those outages or disruptions that are happening while they're using those applications to be able to ensure that they're not even having to raise a ticket with their IT support. And they're becoming empowered to also know what is in their control and as an end user to be able to fix that problem on their own. Should have invented this 20 years ago, man. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, thanks so much. I really yeah, appreciate, I really appreciate you sharing. It. Thanks okay, a lot. Take care.